Hi, F plus. Hi. Hi, Victor. <laughs> Hi, Victor. What's up, Victor? Yay, Victor. Yay, Victor. Yay, Victor. Did you want to talk about the thing? What? What thing? Did, 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 I thought he was gonna start doing the posting. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not qualified to do that. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? To shove away the hand so fast. Who do you think you are? Well, maybe I'm the devil to harbor sick and obscene. Well, maybe this the albatross. I'm like a ivory tower, level or power, but you're not the innocent. You're not the innocent. Okay, so thanks for tuning in, because this is the F-Plus Podcast. It's a terrible place, there's terrible things, and they're red with enthusiasm. In the room tonight, we have Boots Rain gear. Without a doubt, here's the most comprehensive collection of civil defense, fallout shelter, and NBC survival prep documents anywhere on a single DVD-ROM. Jack Chick. We are being hit by toxic weapons in the food and water supply that are making us fat, sick, and stupid. Nutshell Gulag. I was damaged by red number 40 fluoride pills. Victor Laszlo. In a couple more months, my nipple might be the size of nickels instead of silver dollars. Your friend on the internet, this is Adam Bozarth. If you're not getting prepared with nascent iodine, you're crazy. And Lemon. I was dissatisfied with my old mouthwash. That's why I turned to colloidal silver. <laughs> hey, Victor. Uh, what would you prescribe for silver dollar nipples? <laughs> Female super vitality, of course. <laughs> Hello, hey, Lemon. Hi, Lemon. Are you people ready for the coming revolution? What do you mean, you people? Wait, wait. Mm. Like, do you mean the coming revolution? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very prepared for that. <laughs> Boots, what do you envision is going to happen in the coming revolution? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun, but messy. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're not ready, Boots. <laughs> well, I was, I was hoping Lemon would tell me more about it. Well, no, I'm going to tell you about a different revolution. Oh, okay. Um, a, uh, a revolution that is going to be brought on to us by a man who is an actual human being, <laughs> um, and his name is Alex Jones. Oh, good. Oh, boy. Oh, good. Um, so Alex Jones has a site called Infowars. Um, if you're listening to the F Plus podcast, you are probably familiar with it. Um, but just as an overview, it's um, kind of like pig-headed, like uh, <coughs> conservative paranoid conspiracy, I guess I'd call it. Is that, if is you that haven't it? heard of it, Google Ron Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so, th- so that's what Infowars is, and Infowars, of course, uh, has a whole bunch of arms uh, to fund itself, and one of those arms uh, is the Infowars store. <laughs> um, the, um, store. The top of the Infowars store is a picture of Alex Jones uh, dressed up like the crocodile hunter, and it says, thank you for supporting the Infowars, <laughs> Alex Jones. <laughs> Um, oh my so, God, yeah, so, so much snake oil. So <laughs> so what we're going to be going through in this episode is we're going to be going through all of the various uh, items available at the InfoWars store, uh, as well as uh, some user reviews of said items. Uh, this was made possible by Nikir Draken. Uh, and let's start out with the Hillary for Prison 2016 t-shirts. <laughs> Uh, Victor, if you'll start us off here and um, uh, tell us just a little bit about the Hillary for Prison 2016 t-shirt. Sure. Hi, folks. The Hillary Clinton for Prison 2016 t-shirt is now in stock. Signs bearing this Hillary Clinton for Prison 2016 image have been torn down and destroyed across America, and the mainstream media makes it sound as if it is evil to discuss the idea of sending Hillary Clinton to prison. (laughs) However, it's your First Amendment right to say that Hillary Clinton should be brought to justice. Her okay. open cr- crimes of Benghazi, Watergate, oh. Fast and Furious, <laughs> Watergate. Watergate. Oh. IRS Gate, yep. 
The Clinton Foundation and private internet servers makes Nixon look like a choir boy. So Not private she, internet servers, Gate? Wait, she was what did Nixon do anyway? <laughs> she was responsible I mean, for I mean, both Watergate and the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> You've been charged with first degree Benghazi. She, she had Paul Walker murdered. <laughs> That's why Infowars is releasing this limited edition run of Hillary Clinton for Prison 2016 t shirts. Wear them loud, wear them proud, and help get the word out that all of these globalist criminals, Republican and Democrat alike, should be held accountable for their crimes. Wear the them. This dark navy blue shirt further drives home this point with the phrase legalize freedom along with the infowars.com okay. logo. Let everybody Where? know that Hillary Clinton deserves to be in a prison cell, not in the White House. <laughs> And then, uh, nutshell, uh, there's a whole bunch of reviews here, including one by Charlene Keller. She's from Houston, if you'll take that, please. Sure. I wore the Hillary shirt at the Effingham, Illinois Halloween Parade, October 25th. Is that a, is that censored fucking ham? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking ham, <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> it's right next to Kuntzberg. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> Joe Biggs, Paul Joseph are FB friends to see the pics. It was a positive reaction. Only one woman said, We need more social security. <laughs> <laughs> oh my was god, that, social security. Was that, why did I'm she stealing that? that. That's awesome. <laughs> It was so much fun walking in the parade with the Republican Party, supporting Kyle McCarter for Congress. My friend Susan Petty is very active and worked to get Rauner elected for governor. My son said I would wear Oof. that until I asked, did you read it? Now he wants me to order him one. What? At the STL airport, I will when I get home. Oh, this makes sense. This lady posted this from the St. Louis airport. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that place. <laughs> Adam, would you like to share your St. Louis No, <laughs> no. I, we don't have time. This is about InfoWars. Yeah. Yeah, stay tuned to Adam Bozar's <laughs> St. Louis airport talk. <laughs> and then uh, long range, please. I got my wife and I one of these shirts. <laughs> so one together. of us. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were expensive. <laughs> for a t-shirt Ex right up until <laughs> right up until the first demo zombie walked oh, over ooh. saying i that love the shirt demo zombie yeah demo no, zombie. It's, it's a it's a democrat they're so stupid they're, they're like oh, brain dead they're like yeah. zombies oh yeah. i thought it was a zombie that was like really good See, with demolitions it's like a I sick was... burn that works on so many levels yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i thought it was a zombie transformer it's because no, if you're if you're running with a people... horde of zombies, you always have, have, want to have one that could tear down walls. Otherwise, you're just <laughs> standing outside the mall, scrambling at it. This demo zombie got close enough to read it, and they turn and walk away, mumbling to them, "Self worth the price." Now all my friends want one. Wow. Hi, oh, I'm oh, Freedom oh. Rider. Hi, Freedom Rider. Oh no, I'm from Fort Myers, Florida. I'm sorry. I have never had so much attention as when I wear this <laughs> shirt. Today alone, 50 to 60 compliments, 15 plus picture poses, handshakes, what? and high fives. And the key what? to the city. Just like the real Freedom Riders. <laughs> <laughs> I had a fun day meeting people of like mind. I'm, I'm Jim the Runner. I'm from Kingsport, Tennessee. <laughs> mm -hmm. Prison might be too good for a lesbian traitor. <laughs> yep. Sure. I love the sure. free stickers in the citizens' rule book. I hand them out to the uninformed. Is that like like they're praising citizens because they rule, and then you know, <laughs> well, I just I just can't figure out like a lesbian trade. Is that like a traitor to the lesbian cause? Is that the problem? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What's up, you stupid motherfuckers? I'm Dan from Jersey. Oh, oh, you know, I, I've always liked bowling. His, his edgy hey. attitude. Yeah, I wear it to work. I travel and repair industrial machine tools. Fuck. So by me wearing this shirt, <laughs> roughly 100 to 1,000 people see it in a day. Wow. Oh my gosh. Not only do I wear this shirt, people see me wearing the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is most people just see it and laugh. 
thinking it's a right. joke. It's not a joke at all. Everyone right. who says, ha, 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 that's a funny shirt, I tell them, no, it's a serious shirt. No joke, she belongs in a cell, not an Oval Office. I don't I'm think sure that's why, parties. why uh, sh they're laughing, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, another one of those shirts, huh? My shirt's not a joke. I actually want to know who farted. <laughs> <laughs> Real, really, um, my companion here is quite stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're going to skip over the NWO, NWO uh, playing cards. Um, That's okay. I'd rather have NWA playing cards anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so instead, uh, nobody wants MC Ren. So instead, we're going to go to the InfoWars Molon Labe custom minted one ounce proof silver coin. Mm. Um, it is a uh, coin with sort of a like Brotherhood of Steel logo on it or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if 300 had AK 47s. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. It looks more like Talon uh, Company. Uh, Jack Chick, if you will uh, take the description of that, please. Of course. Molen Labe, Le come and take Le it. Le <laughs> For collectors and investors alike, the InfoWars Molen Labe proof silver round contains one troy ounce of .999 fine silver and is struck with a proof finish. This special edition coin was custom minted and comes in a decorative box and case. Ooh. Each case can includes a certificate of authenticity that is individually numbered, making it a <laughs> one-of-a-kind collector's item. Certificate of what authenticity? <laughs> it's authentically from Alex Jones fucking This store? is silver. Goodbye. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is totally a thing. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> this is money in case the economy it collapses. <laughs> no. You guys are all making fun of this, but this is a perfect <laughs> gift for any fellow patriot. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. We were making you fun of it. You goddamn commies. <laughs> sure, this is a keepsake that can be treasured and passed <laughs> forward to future generations. Good. As an added bonus, yep. each purchase of the InfoWars Molen label-proof silver round comes with a free made in 1776 lapel pin. Except for it, w it wasn't. What? There's no way that was made in 17. No, it's just like uh, mm -hmm. it's just a, a general statement of uh, hey, it's we're all made in 1776. Yeah. Not me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not me. <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make no, any that's sense. Actually, that's actually when the atoms that comprise your body were created. Nope, that's not true either. <laughs> Carbon dating is a lie. You know that. Oh, oh, I forgot. There's a whole made in 1776 section to the Alex Jones site. I... Also, I was noticing here, looking at the sidebar, um, and I don't know, you know, when this episode comes out, you know, things might change, but I just want to tell you that while we're looking at the site right now, 25% off all belt buckles! <laughs> get them now before they are gone forever. Can I Can I get one with that, that Mullen Lob? logo centered right over my crotch. Be yes, you can! <laughs> and also it has, like, a bunch of Greek lettering that I don't understand. Yeah, I, I spaced out for a minute. Did anybody point out that that's not how you spell moron? <laughs> <laughs> it's... Well, I don't know, but, uh, Victor, I think you sound like Mad Mike to me. It's Greek. It means come and take it. Hey, I'm Mad Mike from Denver, Colorado. Okay. The Molon Labe Proof Silver is a spectacular looking silver piece that will stand out in any collection. It is tangible and worth more than the dollar spent for it. The 1776 pin is also included. It's high quality and a great conversation piece that always gets noticed when I wear it. Yeah, every time he wears it, somebody says, What the fuck, Grandpa? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so Nakier Drake in here uh, puts documents together. Uh, broke it up into sections. Uh, the section one here was um, uh, General Info Wars Nonsense. Uh, section two, there was a DWI survival guide. Uh, huh. that we're skipping over here, but it's uh, it's 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 fun. It's definitely fun. Uh, but instead, oh, I would just want to skip right to section three, which is called bullshit supplements. Yay! 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 <laughs> and uh, boots, if you'll start us off here with lung cleanse. Yeah. Yeah. Great idea. 
<laughs> so uh, first of all, uh, how much is uh, how much is lung cleanse? Lung cleanse? Uh, it's a forty nine ninety nine for oh, lung well, cleanse. That's too much for me. I can't afford forty nine ninety nine. Oh for lung yeah, cleanse. but you right now you save twenty dollars. It's on sale for twenty nine ninety nine. I'll buy seven. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just get in the top five reasons for lung cleansing. Number one. Indoor air has been shown to have pollutant concentrations much higher than outdoor air. By who? A scientist. Okay. I, l- listen, by, <laughs> I withdraw my question then. No, we don't believe well, in scientists. By Infowars.com. We are a source of information. We don't need to cite anything. Sure enough. <laughs> uh, number two. People spend over 90% of their time indoors trapped in pollutants. Uh, number three, over 35 million people in the U.S. alone have some form of chronic lung condition. A chronic lung condition. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> number four, an estimated 42.1 million, around 18.1% of the population, Americans smoke. Hmm. So, I don't so see how that's bad for 42 you. million people smoke, and 35 million people have gl- chronic lung conditions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Correlation what? is not causation. <laughs> unless, unless, of course, it is, as seen elsewhere on the site. <laughs> unless it's convenient to make me sell things. Uh, and number five, over 1,000 types of mold and mildew have been identified by scientists within homes located in the United States. Wow, that's a lot. But yeah, let's get into some shocking statistics about air quality. Oh, my God. I, I don't know. I'm going to be shocked. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, six out of ten homes in, and buildings are sick. According to EPA, this means that they are hazardous to your health as a result of airborne pollutants. Due to yeah. all the fucking graffiti on the walls from the spray totally cans. Sick. <laughs> yeah. I thought the I thought the EPA was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they aren't. Unless they're selling things. Damn it. It's so confusing. Anyway, it's time to cleanse. With the InfoWars Lifelong Cleanse Team. <laughs> the last time somebody said that to me, I had a very bad evening. <laughs> they said it in a Swedish accent. <laughs> it's time to cleanse. <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to have a really bad evening again, but it's going to be for the good. <laughs> okay. uh, InfoWars Lifelong Cleanse is a result of an ancient wisdom combined with herbal science reinterpreted <laughs> in the light of modern-day herbology. What kind wow. of ancient wisdom? It, it isn't is, ancient is, wisdom wow. from, you know, non-white people, is it? Is Yeah, but is, then we whited it up and made it better. Okay, that's all right. We, we modernized it. Are we sure that we're not reading the Food Babes blog? <laughs> 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 the history of the InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse. Sorry, Life Lung Cleanse. Life, yeah. It's Wars Life <laughs> Lung Cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> is based on the proprietary Spagarex process by Dr. Edward Group. Or Dr. Edward Group? Or the Dr. Edward Group. I don't know. By Dr. Edward Group. <laughs> mm-hmm. I saw the, uh, the, the Dr. Edward he's... Group play at the, uh, the Finn McCool's down the road. It's an ancient prog- process that dates back to 1998. <laughs> Uh, it was invented during his research into the basis for vibrant health. Vibrant Finding that our toxic air and environment was leading to the accumulation of toxic substances in the body, this led us on a journey to create the most powerful herbal lung cleanse and respiratory support product on the market. <laughs> okay, okay. Our key process combines ancient and current technologies to create a revolutionary multi-step proprietary processing technique. Mm-hmm. I'm, ju- I'm just about hypnotized with all the syllables. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this follows the principle of separating and recombining all the elements of an herb to extract uh-huh. the most powerful essence of its healing nature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, Dudes, this thing has an herb in it. <laughs> yeah, but like an herb that we blew up and then glue back together. <laughs> it's from China. You probably haven't heard about it. Anyway, let's let's no, go bro, over he's the. My uncle. Let's go over the key <laughs> checklist for this product. All right. Uh, in a world of in a world of products <laughs> filled with artificial additives and other hidden substances, it is essential to choose a high quality product. Yes, the Infowars Life Lung Cleanse. Or checked by the FDA. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, I... Uh, the Infowars Life <laughs> Lung Cleanse meets these quality factors. Uh, okay. The convenient one ounce bottle can be carried during travel to protect you from toxic airplane air. <laughs> okay. So, as, as these quality factors. 
comes in a bottle. (laughs) (laughs) It's a small bottle. It's vegan safe and GMO free. They bought up all the airborne spray when that got debunked and uh, relabeled it. Oh. How many vegans do you think there are on InfoWars? <laughs> Good point. Yeah, uh, it's 100 percent alcohol free. It's halal and kosher approved. That's... Whoa! whoa. Okay, <laughs> holy shit! What? What? Holy what? shit! Why does InfoWars <laughs> think that it's selling to either Muslim or Jewish vegans? You know, friends, there's an InfoWar coming. <laughs> hey, hey, Muslims and Jews know where to go for quality merchandise too. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I don't like their policies. I do love their products. I don't know what's going on with this Jade Hell Michigas, but I know I gotta get my lungs clean. <laughs> it's uh, made with organic and wild cultivated herbs. Okay. It's made okay. with eco-friendly, sustainable manufacturing in the U.S. Wild okay, wait, cultivated. Wait, 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 wait. plastic. Mm-hmm. So we're sure we're not on the food babe blog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is for, for your racist hippie grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's to buy. It's, it's to buy to your hippie yeah. children, and they're, they're like, "Thanks for the." Oh fuck! Why is it Infowars? <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, before we before we uh, skip to the reviews here, uh, mm-hmm. Jack, check you like coffee, right? I do like coffee. How many pounds of coffee do you think would be uh, a one one month's worth of coffee? Uh, probably I, I go through about two pounds of coffee a month or so. Oh <laughs> well, then great. So this is good for you because uh, the you can get a pack of Wake Up America coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. That is that is four pounds four pounds of coffee. Okay. Um, you'll get uh, two pounds of the Patriot Blend and two pounds of the Immune Support Blend. <laughs> Somehow the Immune Support Blend has mushrooms in it? What? Oh, that's going to taste so good. I don't know, but it's going to Don't talk to me until I've had my right-wing paranoia in the morning. <laughs> But uh, anyway, Nutshell, you are uh, Rabs here, and I need you to tell me about this uh, lung product. I know smoking is bad for you, but I've been doing it for 36 years. And doing it well. (laughs) I purchased this product because I ran out of pharmaceutical inhalers. Okay, but not great. (laughs) The first time I used this product, I got lightheaded because I had more oxygen going into me. Sure. (laughs) I slept great the first night, only guessing I had more oxygen. In addition, it is loosening up gunk in my lungs. Oh, I recommend this product to smokers who have a hard time quitting. I am not nearly ready to quit. I have rejuvenation with this product. Great stuff. So I smoke. This does nothing. I. I oh, it, yeah. it gives you more oxygen. It gives me more oxygen. Not like that fucking doctor that wants me to have oxygen at home. Oh God, he's <laughs> such a pain in the balls. Here, take this inhaler. So do Where you... this oxygen? <laughs> Is it, oh, so it's a puffer. You do inhale it. It's, yeah. It looks like no, it's that's clearly. It looks like bottle. it's an atomizer spray or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, I guess yeah. And uh, Jack, check. What's if, what is your name? Uh, it's really good. You're gonna you're gonna love it. It just rolls right off the tongue. Okay. Um, so my name is Sixty Stairs Two X a Day and Walk All Day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm from Chicago. Okay. Okay. You're one of those people that walks a lot in Chicago. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I count. The I go down three flights and grab my mail, and then I come back up the three flights, but I take a break in the middle. <laughs> I visit Rick on the third floor. <laughs> Good taste, and I don't seem to need my inhaler. My lungs feel open, and I can get a deep breath. Still experimenting, stairs are easy. I tried it when I had pneumonia, really erased my breathing. Experimenting with how much I need works as well as my breathing machine without the jitters from the machine. I haven't felt I needed the machine. This is not medical advice, but do I experience? Follow your doctor's orders. I am. <laughs> and then he passed out. <laughs> It might breathe easier if you use punctuation, buddy. <laughs> so I would like to uh, point out that the uh, Food Babe posts on InfoWars.com. Sweet. Uh, Are you me? We've come full circle. Circles. Oh, my God. Circles. <laughs> that makes so oh. much sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh. My name is Shamgar from Palm Springs, California. And hey, this, Shamgar. Well, this helps with 
pot smoking. Woo, all right. I do not advocate pot use, Lowell. I bought a lot of InfoWars vitamins for my friend because tithe this year isn't for the church. It's for orphans and widows and the Levite and stranger in your town. <laughs> like <What>? my friend. <laughs> What? It has to be in the form of food, so I figure vitamins are like the super food, super food, lol. No, oh God. no, that's wrong. Yep. That's my not worse. orphan friend, my, my orphan, orphan friend, <laughs> friend is diabetic and all messed up. How do you I... keep that friend if you keep referring to him as your orphan friend? <laughs> Merry Christmas. Christmas. May I have some lung cleanser? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Tiny Tim. I gave him almost everything they sell that says InfoWars on the bottle, and I see him what works. He's less a friend and more of a guinea pig. Yeah, no now shit. He's, now he's not an orphan anymore. He told me the lung cleanse has got rid of his raspiness and smoked a lot of pot, so that's something. He sings karaoke, and the announcer made fun of him because he has a baby voice now, lol. The friend I recommended it to would recommend it. Isn't that right, friend? Isn't that right, friend? Yes, <laughs> I recommend it. Sentence structure. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh, boots. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna read something, but I want you to choose what I should read. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got two options here. Option number one is liver shield. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you anymore. Mm -hmm. And option number two is super male vitality. It's not a choice. <laughs> they're, they're actually both pretty good. They're both, they're both genuinely pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's super male vitality. All right. Super male vitality it is. Guess. <laughs> yeah. Have you scrolled down to it, by the way? Have you have you figured out what the price is? Uh, yeah. It's currently on sale for fifty nine ninety nine. One ounce <laughs> yeah, bottle. Yeah. That's right. Sixty nine ninety five was probably too much. Um, uh, but your savings is nine dollars and ninety six cents. If you were to buy it elsewhere, you'd be paying eighty nine ninety seven. According would I to buy this page. This? <laughs> By the way, the brand on the bottle I just noticed is Infowars Life. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. It's okay, so uh, the all-new and advanced Super Male Vitality Formula uses the newest extraction technology with even more powerful concentrations of various herbs and extracts designed to be even stronger. You know how the last one was so good? This is mm -hmm. even better. <laughs> this updated formula incorporates the newest technology and herbal extraction methods with even more powerful... Oh my god, I'm saying the same things again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't it notice. extraction methods, it, it reminds me of the scene from the Dark Crystal where the bad guys are extracting the essences from the podlings. I think they do that only with like college students. Yeah, well, the important <laughs> thing about this product is it's the super male you've been taking, but with extra punch. <laughs> After reviewing the herbal components in the original Super Male Vitality, we decided we could enhance the potency by using higher concentration of some herbs while lowering the concentration <laughs> of other herbs. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Take a step back there, chef. <laughs> More time, <That's>... less oregano. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's got, uh, it's got maca roots, um, tonkat ali... Ashawanga. Oh, uh, 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 get to the, uh, on, on the invention of super male vitality, the third paragraph is really helpful. Well, okay, so there is no question that super male vitality mm -hmm. really works for me, the guy writing this description. And there's a reason that the entire process took more than five years to develop. Other products are priced way higher that claim to boost your vitality, yet they still may contain additives fillers, you name it. The key with Super Male Vitality and all the other products under InfoWars Life has been, has always been to never sacrifice on quality while still offering it at an even lower price than many of the other products that are loaded with low quality ingredients. This is literally an infusion of the highest quality <laughs> sources. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. 
Highest quality sources and naturally derived essences. <laughs> I only bring the best formulations and products to my listeners, and Super Male Vitality has passed all my expectations. Alex Jones. <laughs> Notice it hasn't surpassed them. It's just, you know, exactly at his expectations. <laughs> so you can be a Superman just like Alex Jones. <laughs> Paragon of Health. <laughs> you get the physique of Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah, that that nice flush redness you know, that never seems to go away. It's not about physique. It's it's about performance. Well, so so a couple little bullet points here. Um, uh, Superman Vitality is designed to aid the body in ways that help uh, support normal testosterone levels in men. You know, normal, normal. <laughs> You'll have a normal body like Alex Jones's. <laughs> um, uh, it's completely free of GMOs, uh, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Uh, USA Super Made Vitality USA. is the only Spaggy Rex processed male vitality <laughs> product. Spa Gyrex. <laughs> uh, and it promotes your body's own natural responses and does not use synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality is the result of ancient wisdom and reinterpreted over several years. In the light of modern equipment and analysis, hmm. the history of super male vitality is based on the proprietary spa gyrex process, which was invented during extensive research on the numerous biological deficiencies that males may experience after they age. Hmm. You know, that post-aging process, <laughs> also known as death. <laughs> we asked a bunch of corpses what they think. <laughs> No they, complaints! They gave us their ancient wisdom. <laughs> so this led researcher Dr. Group... Well, they, they, kicked, they kicked Edward out of the band. Dr. Group is my favorite knockoff Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so Dr. Group, he went on a six-year journey to create the most powerful herbal male hormonal sure support product on the market. It all started by studying a combination of herbs that has been traditionally understood to enhance and regulate the body, as well as the works of the most famous 16th century healer, scientist, and formulator, mm. Paracelsus. Paracelsus. Paracelsus? So, Victor, you're a doctor. Uh, what, uh, what's yeah. your favorite uh, teaching of Paracelsus? Uh... I know you have to you just can... choose one. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I think it's I think it's about super boners. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I had to pick just one, I I think I'd go with super boners. Yeah, that's the, um, that, was the, that was the peak of medicine the 16th century, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know, because like that's when we were still like uh, bleeding people, right? right. Well, right. Good. Well, that's and that's when we were living like hundreds of years, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Before all these toxins and GMOs, Ugh, gross. Uh, so the ingredients, uh, <laughs> fruit. Here's the ingredients so, of the um, of the super male vitality: fruit, root, 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 <laughs> root, root, bark, 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 acid. Hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, so that's you know that's an, uh, ingredients that you can trust. Uh, Boots, your name is Ben. Mm -hmm. You're from Emu Plains. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Uh, shift worker, long haul truck driver. Since tacking super male, I've more <laughs> energy. Added feistiness and sexual Tyrannosaurus Rex in and out of the bedroom. Oh boy. Get <laughs> some. <laughs> Ooh, God. <laughs> Why is it always Tyrannosaurus Rex? Why can't it be like sexual brontosaurus or, you know, it's sexual it's triceratops? Because of that Is line why? in Predator. Hey, this yeah. is Constant Vinny from Texas. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm Constant Vinny from Kansas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I said Texas. Shut the fuck up. You don't, don't want to know, de know the details. Suffice it to say... It has revived my interest in my wife. Hey! Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, gross. You see, my wife is so ugly and fat looking, I had to take this super medicine to want to have sex with her again. <laughs> ah. yeah, yeah, her, her yeah, biological clock is ticking like this. <laughs> oh, wow. I hope they make a movie about you someday. <laughs> um... I that was a great person from uh, Kansas. Is there somebody else, uh, Jack Chick? Is there somebody else from Kansas we could hear from? Oh, sweet Jesus! Yes, yes, that guy you love to hate. 
from Kansas. That's not your name. What's your name? Yeah. That guy you love to hate, Winky Face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <Bing>. Apologies. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about you before we uh, get into the the, the uh, review, please. Oh, I do prattle on. Uh, I'm a drummer, health conscious musician, regular user, rock climber. <laughs> Very active. Oh, you're a drummer and a musician, huh? Cool. He's a drummer and health conscious. <laughs> I found out I had chlamydia because taking this huh? product... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Don't understand why you're confused. <laughs> I found out I had chlamydia because okay. taking this product caused blood flow and irritation in places that hadn't had that much activity in a while. The chlamydia caused epidemitis, which turned red into orchidias. But so far, antibiotics have cleared everything up, and everything is fantastic. So this drummer, right, didn't hasn't been laid in right. so long. He didn't no. notice that the last time he got laid, he got chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't had a boner since then. I don't know. I was just busy rock climbing. <laughs> I'm very active. <laughs> Rock climbing is the real sex. <laughs> it's better. He got, cl- he got chlamydia from the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, actually, if you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> had I not taken the super male, I may have had chlamydia for much longer without seeing any side effects and may have infected others. No, probably not. Probably, probably not, because you're a drummer. So this is this is a good product. This Thank you. A... Thank <laughs> you, Jesus. It's actually, well, I mean, really what he's telling us is that the product also detects chlamydia. Either that or it gives you chlamydia. It, it might. Either that or it causes irritation in places that you don't want irritation. Uh, and then, uh, Nutshell, what do you have there? Hmm. Uh, I've got John Connor from um, <laughs> the future <laughs> from Minnesota. Nope, Michigan. Michigan. Okay, this will mess with your w- pound remones. Yeah, he was. He was. He made a clever pun with hormones, yeah. but didn't How want to offend a- anybody. Right? How do you yeah. make a hormone? You tell yeah. her a joke like that. Buy her a gift from the Infowars shop (laughs) (laughs) This stuff turns you back into an animal Be careful If you already mastered your mind Then this is a good test for it Just remember (laughs) that you release a chemical Off of a thought to get your D pound pound K hard This will bypass your mind And get your D D pound pound K hard For no reason Go ape <laughs> S pound pound T if you want. Oh Did Andrew WK write this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 30 years old and still a bad A pound pound. No, you're not. So I would recommend this to older people with low testosterone. Older people in their 30s. But I hate seeing old people acting all sexual. <laughs> yeah. Sex is for reproduction, absolutely. So just remember... Sex what? Ooh. Pound R E moans lead to child support checks peace. Oh. Oh I, boy. Wow. Okay. wow, it turns out that Man. this uh this just drops uh, some knowledge on you. This visitor to infowars.com is a bad human being. He's <laughs> got problems with women. Huh. Weird. Just this one? Yeah, we'll flag him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, listen, you puny pieces of shit. My name's Sovereign Patriot. I'm from Hayesville, Kansas, 76060. Oh, great. And I got to read you my review on Super Male Vitality from Infowars.com. Okay. Good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hate to tell you this, but I was disappointed in the Super Male Vitality. Oh, no. I am whoa, whoa, whoa. unemployed and broke. Are those <laughs> two things, what? did those two things have anything to do with each other? Mm, I would have known it was more of an aphrodisiac instead of testosterone booster. I wouldn't Wrong have spent. Spelling. I would have spent the money on Survival Shield X2 instead. <laughs> oh my God! When I ordered two Survival Shield X2s, I pers- purposely did, did not select the free Ancient Defense just for the sake of saving you that much more money. Immediately what? upon trying what? the Super Mail, I have buyer's remorse and wish I'd spent the money on the more nascent, n- nascent iodine yeah. instead. Are we talking about a video game now? No. <laughs> Yeah, We're talking about real chem, fucking life, Victor. Talking about health. This is the Victor, chem table from Fallout 4. 
you don't provide people with nascent iodine in the, in the emergency room? Uh, well, clearly, you clearly you know nothing about time, health. But what kind no. of well, what kind of ailments would you uh, prescribe ancient defense for? Uh, <laughs> mostly ancient problems, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> ancient solutions. Ancient roaming warlords. Ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> That's also for sale for fifty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Infowars Life, Ancient Chinese Secret. It just, it just sounds like a bunch of like magic cards to me at this point. <laughs> All right, keep I going. Play survival Shield. I am running low on iodine again, and I have no money. I'm panicking how to get more. Go to fucking Walgreens. I don't understand. I, iodine isn't even expensive. It's insult. <laughs> what the hell? I hate going like, even one whole you day. You would with... have more money for iodine if you bought less fucking snake oil from <laughs> Alex Jones, you moron. I hate going even one whole day without my iodine. Can we work out a deal? I'll return all my bottles for one survival shield X2. I need it. I've been <laughs> triangling, tri- triangling, tranging. Right. Okay. I've been tranging for war, real training, and have been getting a lot of wounds. <laughs> I heal at least five times faster, not mention my muscles recover from workouts and begin the growth process sooner. You can say You're unemployed, are you? That's a surprise. Mm-hmm. You can say my satisfaction with the Survival Shield X2 kind of makes up for my disappointment in the super male vitality. However, okay. with my current financial situation, I won't be buying it again anytime soon. Now, if I was wealthy, then yes, I take super male every day. It does work and definitely does something because I could feel it. But I am training to defend my land without firearms. Just martial arts and martial arts weapons. I am sovereign. Yeah! <laughs> yes! A ninja! A ninja! Oh my god! Oh my god! Please make a documentary about this guy! <laughs> Long live our sovereignty. Dear Netflix. If you need a bodyguard, tell me. I'll work for a minimum wage just for you. For the cause. If we lost oh my you, god. we would all lose. Thank you, Mr. Jones, to you and your team. God bless. Kelly I Williams. I want your email address, thought- buddy. Minimum wage. I want to make you a star, motherfucker. Kelly Williams, Farm Ninja. P.S. About a year ago, I Facebooked you and <laughs> vowed to spread the word about you until you had at least 30 million live audience. You sp- what? replied with a thumbs up. The FB name was still Mr. Valhalla. I was effective, and the system had attacked my whole life and the lives of everyone that is dear to me. I'm sure I don't have to tell you the hell we are in now. Still, I help wage the info war. Sovereign to the bone. (laughs) Strategic info bombs on social media sites timed right before the local news, etc. So many info targets. (laughs) Sorry I wrote so much. If you send me a complimentary bottle of Survival Shield X2 or even give me one on front, I would greatly appreciate it. I will be a lifelong customer either way. But please help this warrior. I know you won't, but can't hurt to ask. Don't sell yourself so short, Kelly. Maybe uh, Alex Jones and I have like a charity drive. <laughs> hey, my name's Uncle Spice. This works, but not as good as a product on eBay called Stiffy in a Jiffy. Fucking <laughs> in their product work a lot better for me. <laughs> Listen, I want to be—I want to be super male. I don't want to be spiffy. <laughs> No, <laughs> Diffy in a Jiffy. <laughs> you got wax in your ears, kid. <laughs> See, I want to watch a TV show about that guy. Oh, that is really good product creation. It's not on Amazon. How it much? is on Amazon? I don't know. I don't see it. No, it's on eBay. No, there's just a product searching... called Stiffy on it's Amazon. Stiffy in a Jiffy. Oh, I thought I thought you said Spiffy in a Jiffy. Why? Why did you think I said something this different? Stiffy in a Jiffy. <laughs> Set of three stiffy and a jiffy enhancement hot sexy libido stamina erection penis. <laughs> Fast acting, alcohol friendly, headache free. Stiffy and a jiffy uh, on the package it says the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's a product that clearly takes itself seriously. <laughs> hey, Boots. Mm-hmm. Hey, Boots. Mm-hmm. Guess how much it costs for 24 uh, stiffy and a jiffies? Tw- 24? Uh, yeah, a... $50. B- nope. Two hundred and nineteen dollars and seven cents. Okay, plus shipping, obviously. All right, so a little more than five bucks per stiffy. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh god. <laughs> um so uh there's obviously super female vitality, uh which, you know, we would we would expect um there is a product called Childies and we are not reading that for <laughs> oh, obvious <Jesus>. reasons. <laughs> what? That's, that's that's when my outlook on life gets a lot darker. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. But first, uh, Victor just... just found the website for Stiffy and a Chippy. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the tagline of it is, you'll feel a spiffy when you're getting a Stiffy and a Jiffy. <laughs> it dissolves you'll... under your tongue. Oh yeah, so they got tongue dissolving to Stiffy Oh my god, it's an LSD tab. <laughs> you'll, feel, you'll feel a spiffy. You'll feel a spiffy when you get a stiffy and a jiffy. <laughs> Wait a minute! There, are, I just realized there are two competing products because the other product was stiffy and a jiffy. This is a stiffy and a yeah, jiffy. This is at a stiffy and a jiffy dot com. Not the, what about the stiffy and a jiffy dot com? Hey, lemon, lemon, can you look at the FAQ, please? Oh, or how does uh, how does it work? Nope. <laughs> 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 okay, read it, read it, read it, please. Okay. Jack Chick, do you have any questions for me about a stiffy and a jiffy? <laughs> nice. How how does it work? <laughs> how does it work, you ask? Yeah. How does S I A J work? Okay, well, Loramipsum doloracidamides, consecutor acetylene elite, non bulliferate bullet duke diam pradium omare. Oh, all these medical terms. That, that's fine. What are the active ingredients, Lemon? Oh, the active ingredients. Well, Loramipsum dolorcetamide <laughs> can <laughs> take you to our acid elite. That Loramipsum gets around. Mm, I'm allergic to bullet pet. <laughs> are, there, are, there, are there any side effects? Oh, are there any side effects? No known side effects. Does not contain XXX, XXXXX, XX, which have been known to cause <laughs> negative side effects. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, what a wonderful website this is. I... Yeah. All right. Um I'm sorry. Oh, Alex Jones, of course. Alex Jones. Okay. Yes. Um so uh this next section here is called documentaries and In uh, five quotations. Um and uh this is a Alex Jones uh film <laughs> called Endgame. Uh, nutshell, if you'll tell us about Endgame, please. All right. For the New World Order, a world government is just the beginning. <clears throat> Once in place, they can engage their plan to exterminate 80% of the world's population while enabling the elites to live forever with the aid of advanced technology. <laughs> this is why modern medicine is evil. Um, mm-hmm. For the first time, crusading filmmaker Alex Jones reveals their secret plan for humanity's extermination. Operation Endgame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because uh, the rich product- elite don't oh. want a bunch of poor people working for them. Right. Right. <laughs> right. They, they want to have to do it all this themselves. Is, this is not self-evidently stupid. You're you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't that a header on the site? <laughs> Jones chronicles the history of the global elite's bloody rise to power and reveals how they've funded dictators and financed the bloodiest wars, creating order out of chaos to pave the way for the first true world empire. Mm -hmm. And then there's a bunch of bullet points. Watch as Jones and his team track the elusive Bilderberg group to Ottawa and Istanbul to document their secret summits, allowing you to witness global kingpins setting the world's agenda and instigating World War III. Learn about the formation of the North America Transportation Control Grid, which will end U.S. sovereignty forever. Discover how the practitioners of the pseudoscience eugenics have taken control of governments worldwide as a means to carry out depopulation. And view the progress of the coming collapse of the United States and the formation of the North American Union. Yeah. Why? So, I've... Everybody knows poor people ain't having no babies. I the one of the one of the bits of paranoia I've always been super confused by because like I get all of this like oh you know the the Bilderberg group and the Illuminati and all that shit yeah I I understand that paranoia I do but the one that I've always been really confused by is like all of this Alex Jones shit where it's like where it's like oh fuck America like it's all it's all like corroding and collapsing and like they're turning us into like a North American Union like well. Why is that worse? I don't like why why is that terrifying? Like that means more Mexicans and Canadians 
are Americans. Yeah, do you think do you think Canadians are just as good as you, Lemon? What? It, it gets rid of the constitution. Um mm -hmm. yeah. oh, of course. The thing that separates you from Canadians. I was made in 1776. Yeah. Were you? <laughs> yes. You're looking pretty good actually then. <laughs> Thank you. I've been taking I've been taking super patriot. <laughs> And then uh, there are reviews, uh, not on the actual um, uh, oh, Infowars fuck. store, uh, but there uh, are some reviews on IMDb um, for this movie. Uh, one of those reviews is uh, GK from Mars. Jack, take we take that, please? Absolutely. Alex Jones is a British agent. <laughs> Alex yeah. Jones is an agent of British intelligence whose mission is to create his own monopoly in the 911 Truth Movement and wreck <laughs> it from the inside. 911 Truth Movement is a joke. Don't you see? He built the 911 conspiracy just to blow it up. <laughs> He's, discred He's discrediting calls for independence with his manipulations and obnoxious behavior. <laughs> Sending in deceiving and ranting characters is one of the most common ploys by the British propaganda machine. Huh. He's misleading his listeners and filling their head with deceptions and half truths. Well, that's I okay. mean, yeah. I, I would I would disagree with the half truths part. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you agree with me? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's leading them into the wilderness where they act like useless conspiracy theorists instead of doing anything against the British and the financiers. This guy is out there. He's closely linked to the British and he surrounds himself with anti-American characters. Well, okay. I mean... This guy is gone. Because there's a few statements that you're making that are true. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't argue, Lemon. Just nod and smile and agree until we get out of this elevator. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really slow elevator. This guy is out jonesing so Jones. This is a, like Go a, faster if you guys would stop talking. Is this a, like, a, like a, the British are controlling all the power in the world kind of? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Really. This guy actually is Drew from Alex Jones. That's why they built the United Nations in London. Think about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alex Jones is the most powerful man in the world. He's opposing progress in anyone who stands up for the American state. He's fooling millions of people while mm -hmm. the financiers in the city of London are wrecking the American economy in the American state. Mm -hmm. Hang on just a second. <laughs> You're so close. You're so close. Well, I mean, he's. I mean, to be to be fair, um, uh, uh, there were British financiers um, yeah. that were that were contributing uh, to the our, to the American financier problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were right. So, god damn it, British! <laughs> How come you ruined our economy? Wait a second. Have you? Has anyone ever seen David Cameron and Alex Jones in the same place? <laughs> Fox. Alex Jones has. Which is weird, because you think they would pose for photo ops more often. Yeah, <laughs> I think they're the same person. He's ranting against a new world order, while in practice fully... the same body type, too. Mm -hmm. Fully mm -hmm. supporting the plans of the London-based oligarchy! And he's a crook! <laughs> oh, okay. well, that clinches on, it. On top of that other stuff. Shit, and he's a crook? Damn, I'm sold. <laughs> okay, well, let me give you some evidence, Okay. Franklin D. Roosevelt and John F. Kennedy were both killed by British special forces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, FDR was killed by his doctor. Right, who was part of the British special forces. <laughs> the CIA is a branch of British intelligence. <laughs> Alan Dulles worked with the British for decades. Uh, After World uh, War II, the yeah. British captured key positions in the United States did and they? launched an information war to continue dominating the world. What places did they capture? This guy... Was the above review useful to for you? Mm -hmm. This guy blows people who carry grudges from the Civil War out of the water. I mean, come on, American <laughs> Revolution here. No, I think this guy actually is from 1776. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way that that would make sense, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and then um, uh, there was a uh, reviewer named uh, Ig Igor Igorenk. Igorenk. <laughs> Uh, who posted a very, very long review. Uh, it's Igor, but... not Igor. Oh, okay. Igor and <laughs> whatever. What and uh, he posted a very, very long review, but the end of it uh, goes like so. Ask yourself why this world of humane atheists, good Samaritans, mm -hmm. merciful Muslims, and meek Buddhists is the, is the world of misery. 
a gloomy world in which we invade sovereign countries, kill innocent civilian women and children, tagged as collateral damage, a world in which we spend billions on weapons and wars, not on food, a world in where people die of starvation, where we're saving turtles and toads, a world where we're trying to save from alleged global warming mm -hmm. by introducing another tax while testing nukes or dropping thousands of tons of napalm and dele I'm, depleted uranium. And while that. we can't just sit there and do nothing, at least Alex is out there somewhere with his bullhorn and his camera. I Thank am disappointed goodness. by the rating and the number of votes here. I'm sure we've all seen National Treasure, though, <laughs> and given it a good rating. <laughs> right? <laughs> right, folks? Haven't we all seen National Your Treasure? Your baby <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> movie. Yes, I've seen it more times than I... Yeah. Is um, is is Nick Cage playing Alex Jones in those movies? <laughs> yeah, I guess it makes sense, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what if Nick Cage is always playing as Alex Jones? It explains the Wicker Man. Guys, we could bring him back by having him star in an Alex Jones <laughs> movie. How'd it get burned? It's a conspiracy. <laughs> How'd it get burned? How'd it get burned? <laughs> How'd it get I'll tell you how I got burned. These useless eaters! <laughs> the Illuminati Blah! burned it. The Bilderberg group burned it. All right. <laughs> uh, coming down to the end here, um, but there are some uh, books. I think books. Maybe they're movies. No, I think they're all <laughs> movies. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, there's two different uh, movies uh, that we can end... Or, uh, we can choose from here. Um, mm. Adam, I think I'll let you make the choice here. Yes. Uh, movie number one is called What in the World Are They Spraying? <laughs> uh, and the, the other movie. <laughs> and the other movie is called Why in the World Are They Spraying? <laughs> why the bleep do we spray? Um, why or what? Mm -hmm. um, I bet if we. Why I think is, is why the sequel to what? It is, yep. Yeah, let me go with why. All right, why it is. Uh, so why in the world are we spraying? Uh -huh. If you'll the tell me about never it, please. Is good. <laughs> I think this might encapsulate what well, they might bring us up to speed with. What, <laughs> yeah, hopefully. You know. Why in the world are they spraying? Is an investigative documentary into one of the many hidden agendas associated with chemtrail slash geoengineering programs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Various groups are quietly pursuing these programs, but why? And for whose gain? This film is a follow-up to the groundbreaking documentary, What in the World Are They Spraying? Which woke up millions to the damaging effects of chemtrails and other geoengineering programs. As a result, movements around the world are being formed to address these crimes and many concerned citizens are taking action. As people become aware of what is happening, they are now... Even more important question of why it's happening. Michael J. Murphy, originator and co-producer of What in the World Are They Spraying, in association with Barry Kolsky, have produced Why in the World Are They Spraying to answer that question. I guess the, I guess the sequels are going to be Where in the World Are They Spraying? Who in the World Are They Spraying? Uh, are They Spraying? How and in the How in the World Are They, the world are they Still Which Spraying? Fourth in the World? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Wherefore in the world spraying. are they spraying? <laughs> when in the world are they spraying? Get the schedule downloaded now. <laughs> <laughs> See it live. Where, where in the world the is calendar. spraying on ice? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego being sprayed? Get ready to uncover the environmental and human health implications of geoengineering programs. I'm ready. How geoengineering can be used to control our weather. Great job, guys. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's, I mean, you know what? Thanks, world government. It's been a very <laughs> mild winter this e this year. Uh, so thanks, appreciate that. What industries benefit from geoengineering programs? Most, I would assume. How the spraying affects <laughs> you, your family, and the future of humanity. Well, does it make us like docile, complicit citizens? Because I'm in favor of that. Yeah, conformity, absolutely. <laughs> Woo! Oh dear, it's already too late. 
<laughs> for these hey, people. Would you like to drink some of this drink? It's delicious. <laughs> I'm a sovereign patriot. I only drink one ounce of super male vitality. <laughs> How come your boner does that? <laughs> because I don't think your boner should do that. <laughs> because it's its own sovereign boner. <laughs> it's made of it's made of steel and silver. In this documentary, you will learn how the aerosols being sprayed into our sky are used in conjunction with other technologies to control our weather. Geoengineers maintain that their models are only for the mitigation of now widely debunked theory of global warming. Oh, remember when we debunked global warming and everybody? Yeah, it was such a relief. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Remember when? when you remember? That you don't remember exist? when? You remember when the people that were like, you know, uh, like the, the airplanes that were like releasing all of the uh, chemicals uh, were mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, we're doing this for global warming reasons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We're we're spraying out cold things. It's too cold over Kansas. <laughs> what is clear is that the chemtrail slash geoengineering can be used as a way to consolidate an enormous amount of both monetary and political power into the hands of the technocratic elites. Damn Certain you, Apple! <laughs> These people who know how to use computers. Certain international corporations can now leverage weather control to gain power over the Earth's natural systems. Uh -huh. This, of course, is being done at the expense of every living thing on the planet. Why in the world are they spraying is a must-see film and will revolutionize the environmental movement. It will? Like, by just crushing it? <laughs> It will start its own because the other one had to end when we debunked global warming. It's the circle of life. Plane go fly over the sky and leave cloud I don't understand. Why plane make cloud? I don't know. Maybe you should go outside and yell at it a little bit. Oh my! Yeah, 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 yeah. Shake your fist at idea. it, too. Get the bullhorn. Well, and then, so, uh, so Jack Chick, uh, you are no consent. <laughs> I don't like it. This movie inspired my to go ahead and build a chem buster. Okay. But a banana, 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 banana. Stop. <laughs> then, I, then I got a blowjob by a chemtrail. <laughs> Best part of the movie. Anyways. Horrible. Plans are on the internet. I love watching the planes fly over and no trails. I got my blue sky back. Spend the money to purchase this DVD. Then build a chem buster and do something about it. Thank you, Emo Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> I built a chem buster. <laughs> um, so then, uh, Nakier Dragon, uh, or Nakier, I don't know how to pronounce that at all. <laughs> Nakier. Nakir Draken uh, points out uh, that uh, that review uh, made him very curious on what a chem buster is, and uh, and so he did some research. Uh, couldn't find uh, enough useful information on WikiHow, <laughs> uh, so instead yeah. uh, went to aetherforce.com slash build your own chem buster and take down chemtrails. <laughs> Uh, and Victor, if you'll uh, yes. tell us how to make our own uh, chem buster, please, that would sure. be really helpful. Build your own chem buster and take down chemtrails. Okay. If you don't know what chemtrails are, just look up in the sky every now and then over the next couple of days, and you may just catch one of the unmarked high-altitude mystery jets releasing a long <laughs> plume of toxins, unmarked, which are different huh? than the quickly dissipating vapor contrails of military jets. If you're like most right. of us, and by that I mean most of us Earth citizens, you're really mm. pissed off about this attack on our health, our lungs, <laughs> and our planet, our Earth. You want to know how to remedy the situation to fight backpack. <laughs> write a letter. I want to fight backpacks. <laughs> <laughs> write a letter, talk to a representative, ask questions, get the word out, a representative tell everyone of you what? know. These are all options to explore. They will bring results. Maybe over not the result you want, but <laughs> yeah. bring results. Over, over time, meanwhile, all of us are breathing this stuff, whatever it is they're releasing, directly into our lungs. Here's what you can do to stop the chemtrail madness. There's a reason for everything, 
even for why you arrived on this page. <laughs> Could it be that maybe you're supposed to build an Organite Kim Buster? Uh, probably Think not. Oh, like in carefully. prophecy? <laughs> Is this destiny leading me on? <laughs> the, the one true Kim Buster. <laughs> Think about this carefully. Each well-built Organite Kim Buster unit clears the sky of chemtrails and produces positive orgone energy simultaneously. <laughs> well, that's handy! <laughs> For up to 120 miles in all directions if you add extra crystals. Jesus, <laughs> that's quite a range. <laughs> no, you, you don't get it. My my organized chembuster is okay, but my cell phone gives me brain cancer. <laughs> we'll put more crystals in that thing too then. So, so, uh, so, so Steve, what is this? Oh, it's my organized chembuster. It's powered by crystals. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're welcome, by the way. Yeah. Each human being that cares about the Earth, each one of us can make his or her own personal Organite Kim Buster, okay. which will absorb and transmute negative orgone injury into positive orgone energy. This will help heal the atmosphere up to 120 mile radius of where it is placed. Put it wherever you want, in your backyard or somewhere inside your house. Up it your butt. still has the same effect. I thought they were chemtrails, not negative orgone energy trails. Well, chemtrails <laughs> are made from negatively charged orgones. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Are orgones, Fucking duh. Gotcha. Are orgones the non-earthlings that are causing these chemtrails? <laughs> yeah, sure. And the organite chembuster is a major improvement over the cloudbuster design of Wilhelm Reich. Mm -hmm. Quartz and citrine crystals and organite have been added to the mix. The organite mm. Kimbuster does not accumulate negative orgone energy like the Cloudbuster. It actually pulls negative orgone energy down from the sky and right. transmutes it. Uh, oh, it is a pyramid! It's a it's well, actually, because the first picture, if you're looking at it, uh, the the uh, Kimbuster looks like a thing that you use to shoot bottle rockets. Yeah, yeah it's yep. a bottle <laughs> rocket sure. Gatling gun. Yep. <laughs> so you can you can turn your chem trails into organite trails. <laughs> To be fair, I that is that a game. really pretty paperweight. <laughs> you could put your weed in there. <laughs> and then uh, scrolling down, uh, scrolling down a bit. Uh, nutshell. No, no, we, no. We're we're not done with organite chembusters. Oh, okay, we are most so certainly so not done with it. Okay. Uh, Victor, continue from How if dare enough. You lemon. <laughs> if enough of us make at least one of these easy to build organite chembusters, we will effectively disarm and dismantle the billion dollar chemtrail program, which mm. is now spraying the world's <laughs> skies with toxic chemicals and possibly airborne viruses, such as H1N1 swine flu virus. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? <laughs> man, oh man. Yep. They should probably spend another billion dollars so that they're like, their conspiracy isn't so easily. I didn't realize how <laughs> profitable chemtrails were. No kidding. Like just some like copper and plywood. It'll fuck this. Well, thing well up. we'll find out exactly what we need. Yeah. Here's what you'll need: materials. <laughs> okay. okay. Good. Crystals. <laughs> crystals. Yep. Just, just any any crystals will do. You know, the sure, ones hanging you from your know. rearview Salt. mirror. Probably. What about Salt. crystal light? Sugar. Can I use that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crystal sure. Pepsi. <laughs> Ugh. That girl down at the gym named Crystal. <laughs> Copper pipes, pipe couplers, metal shavings, plywood pieces, <laughs> three total, resin, a two-gallon yeah, bucket. Yeah, I got plenty of that. Uh -huh. Just go to Home Depot and ask for three pieces of plywood. They'll know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, you three gotta, pieces. You got to tell them Earl sent you. <laughs> You'll also need tools, a drill, a flat one and a quarter inch auger bit, a flat okay. one and an eighth inch bit, masking tape, heavy duty glue, mixing dowel, and your hands. <laughs> but the government oh, man, took my hands. hands. Well, can I use that in place of the masking tape? Ableist. I want to use Nutshell's hands instead in case something goes wrong. Uh, and then, uh, Nutshell, how do I make an Organite Chem Buster? Well, I'm glad you asked. The first instruction is uh, is pretty, you know, useful yeah. boilerplate stuff for handymen. You're just getting okay. started. Okay. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to start by sending out a strong, positive intention to each crystal. Or uh. all of them together at once. Can I... Positive can, intention. Can I use my clear... super mail no. serum for this? <laughs> Quiet, I'm talking. Oh, my God. It doesn't seem very positive. <laughs> Positive intention is a clear thought that you hold for a time in the center of your mind. Then send out to the crystal. 
If you want to increase the power of this intention, meditate first. If you really want to increase it, jelk and then meditate. Once you've cleared your mind of all daily clutter and stopped any internal dialogue, form and sustain the following intention very clearly in your mind. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm paying attention. This thought should be that your crystals work together to attract and transmute negative argon energy what? into positive argon energy for the benefit <laughs> of our planet and what? all the living beings on it. So the thought that I have to form and sustain in my mind is this thought should be that your crystals work together to attract and transmute the negative orgone energy into positive orgone energy for the benefit of our planet and all the living beings on it. Yeah. yeah. The That's thought a is, really long chant. The thought is this works. Amen. <laughs> This thought should be clear in your mind. We're together. Uh, so then there's a bunch of, like, uh, gluing pipes to boards. Uh, mm-hmm. That's uh, pretty much the um, pretty much the thing. And then uh, the, uh, the very last paragraph here in the instructions. Okay. So, once the resin is hardened, mm-hmm. move your new organite cam buster to your favorite safe and secret... But most of all, strategic location. It has a 120 mile radius. How strategic can it be? <laughs> so well, it's supposed to be strategic so they won't be able to smart bomb it. Okay. Just attach the five foot copper pie for increased portability. What? Carry the bucket. You can paint the bucket a darker color, green or brown if you like, to reduce visibility. Positive energy for all. Yeah. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> I, uh, I actually, letter. I was on the, um, the just now I was on the uh, Wikipedia, the talk page for chemtrails, and it was actually less interesting than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a really long slap fight, but it's not. <laughs> it should just say, sources needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got a I got a bit of a fun uh, homework for the for the listener who wants to know learn a bit more about uh, chemtrails. Okay. Uh, do a search on YouTube for uh, people uh, misting vinegar in the air to prevent oh, yeah. chemtrails. Not only it's, does it, it clean is... your windows, it it gets rid of chemtrails. Yeah, it's for people just standing out in their fucking backyard spraying vinegar upwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> That's a thing, man. These like, people got a billion dollar. They got a billion sure. dollar budget to make these chemicals to sedate yeah. the populace. The, the but one, they didn't. They didn't re- re- realize that Yankee ingenuity would figure it out. That yeah, home yeah, vinegar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one person. Fuck. One person has done it so much um, that their lawn can no longer grow grass. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's working if the air tastes like pickles. <laughs> Um, so what did we learn from this episode, uh, Plus? <laughs> Not much. I think, oh, I think we have new merch ideas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the stickers and the t-shirts, I mean, that's fine, right? But, like, we don't have, like, our own F Plus, um, coffee. We need to, we need to supplement, like, in, uh, increase panic vitality. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. How Just... much could we charge for bulletproof F Plus coffee, Jack Chick? Um, like bulletproof coffee is like a hundred bucks a pound, right? Yeah, okay. no, I mean, I I don't think we're gonna get that kind of scratch, but right. we could probably do fifty bucks a pound. All right, cool. I mean, yeah, you know, the the thing <laughs> is, is we'd have to come up with our own like you know, uh, trick. Like we, you can only use clarified yak butter or something. <laughs> What we could do is we could sell like because the, cause, uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, it's the stores dot infowars has a whole bunch of like preparing for the apocalypse you know like shit to put in your bunker right mm-hmm. um, and we could sell um, the episodes as something to like listen to in your bunker to remember like what the <laughs> world used to be like so that you can be happy that it's destroyed. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. We that's can a really sell. Good idea. You can sell lemon and Portax body pillows to keep you company in the bunker. Uh, <laughs> I can't imagine which would be less popular. <laughs> Tied at zero. <laughs> so one of the things that struck me while we were reading through all these reviews is how many of them sounded like fucking 
like those pen the like like those penthouse stories but also like like fanfic like then i got the key to the city and everybody loved me and this re- made my entire life better in every single possible way <laughs> I learned that there's there's way more of an overlap between uh, like new age bullshit and infowars uh, to people than I would have ever expected. Well, it makes sense because they're just not like they're they're you yeah. know it's it's the same people that are just like I don't listen to the man. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like... and you're just gullible. Sure, right. like you're just downright gullible. Also, like because because like the infowars thing is like sort of this weird like separate piece of paranoia where like it's a for example, they don't take Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? No. Like, like they take PayPal. Like, so it's, so it's, it's, it's a almost commercialized. Like, it's, it's, it's weird because, like, I would imagine that, like, being, being Alex Jones and kind of like taking like a, a tight noose around these like gullible people, and and you know the extent to which you believe your own bullshit. Well, I, they don't I can't take Bitcoin because it's not real money. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure, yeah. but I mean, you could still, I mean, exchange it in the moment for money. Mm. Like, I mean, I'd assume that, like, if I was reaching out to paranoid lunatics, I would absolutely be trying to take. Well, Bitcoin. these are all—they're also like technophobic too. Yeah, oh, that's, that's it's like they wouldn't do Bitcoin because they don't understand anything about it, and it, therefore it, it could them. possibly be Bilderberger bitcoins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Builder coins. <laughs> Builder coins. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, and I mean, like this guy. Is, is has a long history of uh, of of conflict with the truth, and uh, I mean, like one of the things that like I think is so striking is like he's the he's loose change. He's the guy who made the loose change documentary, and that changes every time somebody debunks it. Like it's a living documentary. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like he's he's just a he's a fucking maniac, and I don't think he even knows what he's doing. I think like he's. So in the moment, he's so himself. He does not. He does not have uh, uh, foresight or hindsight. I don't think he needs it. I think he's smart enough that he doesn't take Bitcoin, but he also doesn't take the silver coins that he sells to the rubes on his website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can you can only pay him in legal tender, and that's that's on purpose. Well, because the other thing that the other thing that I mean, um, because like. The point where, like, uh, where where I go from like laughing at these people to getting really depressed is is to recognize that like that like you know ha ha, and then it's like oh god, you all have a whole bunch of guns and have a super big hard on for a war. Well, yeah. the children's um, supplements, because then it's like and, oh my god, yeah. you're involving kids. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And they yeah. vote all the time, all the yeah. time, yeah. all the time. That's terrifying as hell. But the th- but the other thing that's a little. I don't know. That's a little bit of a bright side is that they talk about these um, movements that they have, you know, like we're a movement. And that's not true because it's not like these people are forming together a militia other than like, you know, they'll get together in somebody's garage and, and like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll also bitch about Hillary Clinton. But that's not a movement. But but, just... but he's also the guy who kind of took the Jade Helm thing. And turned it into this sort of controversy. Like Jade Helm is just, was like it was just supposed to be a secret army exercise to train people before they went to war. And Alex Jones, uh, some some maniac, just thought that it was like a secret invasion plan, which Alex mm-hmm. Jones did not check. He just ran with, and right. so all of his idiot like uh, listeners flooded the area and just armed themselves openly because it was like in Texas and just completely fucked up everything. Like he, it's not just people hanging out in their garage bitching about the government. This guy is a figurehead. And I think one way or another, he's going to start something. Well, and that's, and that's, I mean, I, I, I know this, 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 this uh, summary here is getting a little long, but like, <laughs> but like, you know, in like, it's it's a little germane to like recent events just because like you know like like we as we as you know thinking people like we just tend to like dismiss with snarkiness like the the shit that's happening and this idea of like well you know like Donald Trump like doesn't believe his own shit and it's like it's like well that may or may not be true but the fact is that like people fucking die because of these decisions um, and that's, and, and that's the case of, of like, of like that you have people that are like, that are, uh, that are being opportunistic and just spreading bullshit just because, um, and there's real consequences there. 
And if you think the world is a horrible place filled with miserable people and we're all fucked, come to Ball Pit! <laughs> Where's that website? That's B A L L P dot I T E. All right, buy a t shirt. Bye. Bye. See you in the bunker. Oh, you betcha. Oh, God. Don't start. <laughs> oh, I did start doing. Now it's so hard to stop. Hey, oh, I'm Christ, blessed. Lemon. <laughs> Can't you just do a podcast? <laughs> oh, you know, I can do a podcast. A real good one, Dur. Ah, uh, you know, Marge is going to come over with some hot ditch later. <laughs> yeah, oh, I love hot Margie's dish. hot dish. Right, right after we frame Stephen Avery for murder. <laughs> <laughs> I do some scrapbooking.